Yeah. Hey, hang on. What's that? I can't see anything. What's that? Talk. These are Falconers of Alahan and Falconers of Alahan 2. Wow. Brilliant. Found in the attic. Fresh mint in the box. Nice, man. Beautiful. So the manager paid. So the manager put money into the of them. So recorded. That's a good last thing. Less somebody sends me fifty quid. That's why. They'll, they'll, they'll give it to you. Take the money and run. Yeah. There's a shit out that guy in Japan. He's a bloody hoarding bastard. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It'll probably take you over five years to get to you. I imagine. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I got some stuff in the mail today. Actually, I got some epic stuff from my good mate uh, R Deep. If R Deep ever watches this video, thank you, my good sir. I got some wonderful orc. Uh, these are the um, the, the uh, brain bursters, I think they're called brain crushers. That's yeah. right, brain crushers. They're really hard to get hold of. Um, so I'm really glad that he he sent me a detachment of these for my orc epic force. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually painting epic, guys. I'm painting epic. It's, you remember, remember nothing the, bad you, about that. Nothing. Nothing bad. bad at all, Marcel. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're happy that I'm back on track. But this is the, um, the <laughs> boy. The mech boy rockets, you know, with the shark, the shark faces and that kind of thing. So I've been doing those today in my free. Josh, you truly are a hobby magpie, aren't you? You're like, jump, I, jump, am, got mate, it. I am. But, but, but before oh, right. I, I wasn't, mate. I wasn't. I was just doing infinity, and that was it. It's infinity. That was it. There's nothing else. Nothing else could could in, could penetrate that sort of you know that concentration I had and love for, for infinity. But now, Josh, infinity. Goes. Yeah, I'm a gaming slut. Now you know I'll, I'll go for anything. <laughs> <laughs> pants down. Okay. Pants down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so tell me, tell me about the infinity then. How did that happen? How long were you doing that? I did that for almost a decade, I think. Like okay. straight. Yeah. Was that the only game you played? That was the only game I played. And I was too cool at it. Absolutely. And do you play it at all? Now? Huh? Do you play it at all? Actually, I was thinking I was talking to the guys because uh, we we had like our own little group here in Japan. That when I came here, I, I met up with another guy, uh, John Joe, and we sort of started at the store playing Infinity, and we got a whole 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 heap of guys involved in it, uh, the Japanese local guys and some foreign guys, and they're still going today. Like they're still got their own little group, and they're still running tournaments. One of the guys is uh, opened up his own store and selling Infinity now in Japan, so he's he's like basically made a business out of it. So I said, you know, I'm keen to like dip my toe back in now. It's like the fourth edition rules are out. So if you know, they're going to run a tournament in April, I might come down and have a look at it and see how we go. I don't know. But I, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I want to do have a game because I've got the miniatures for them. I do love my Aleph faction. Uh, they're mm. basically like Ghost in the Shell uh, yeah. aesthetics, that kind of thing. So I really love that. Um, and I love that army. That's the army I, I play with all the time. So, uh, so yeah, they've got like a new edition out now. So I really would like to try it at least. And if it's still like a massive brain burner, because someone sent me like the rules changes between like third edition to fourth edition. It's like it's like this page after page after page after page. And I thought, like, oh god, my, I don't know. I don't know if I have the commitment to do it. That's the thing, though. And I think. I don't know if I've got the commitment to actually sit there and go through all those rules and read it. You've got to be like a lawyer, basically playing for yeah. it's very very in-depth well it's like a role-playing game like if you know if it's basically like a role-playing game on the tabletop i've seen it played and um a couple of my friends have played it but i just as i've got older i just need my games to be simpler i just <laughs> need simple games that i can play and i can manage and to me the figures look beautiful it seems to have a really good scene you know there's a lot of nice you know really um strong scene with people playing it but to me, it just seems too complicated. I um, I went that way. Um, a good friend of mine plays Malifaux. You know Malifaux, do you? Yeah. And um, Malifaux, the figures are great. The background is great. But it just fries my brain. And I, I just don't think I can I can do it. You know, I, I, I prefer to be able to relax and not be totally fried with a game I'm playing. I don't know. Uh, Marcel, do you play Infinity? No, but in our um, in my gaming group, um, there are couple of guys really into that and also um, organizing tournaments and stuff like that. We've got a huge table with all the uh, terrain here from micro arts and 
I really like the aesthetics, but the problem is, I think you have to play it a lot to to know all the rules because I think every miniature got its own special rules and yeah. so on. And like uh, Joshua said, it's like a kind of role playing uh, game with your own little characters or group of characters moving around. And the miniatures are too beautiful for me because you have to, you've got all these smooth, uh, like these body suits and armor. And oh man, I think that's uh, really hard to paint. So I never bought any miniatures. Um, and I'm too afraid to paint them <laughs> if I got them. So, uh, so uh, to give them justice because they are so really nice sculpts. So, no, nothing. Not for I me. I went through a phase where I played um, Hordes and War Machine, and that was the same. It just used to fry my brain because every every figure had its own rules, and there were brilliant combinations and everything was really good. But just as I got older, I just can't do it. I just can't do it anymore. I just want to move figures and roll dice and and have a laugh really, and um, you know, and win win more through luck than judgment sometimes. You know, I don't think I'm a great general, but I can be lucky on occasion. And I think um, that to me is a great game is when you sit down and you, you enjoy the gaming as much as you do the um, the the, uh, the actual rules, really. That's why I, play, I enjoy playing Rangers of Shadow Deep because I, uh, although I always lose that and then play myself. <laughs> I'm one of the game, you know, I'm one of the game for about a month <laughs> against myself. But um, yeah, I don't know. Do you ever play um, uh, private press stuff, Josh? Or? I don't, mate. I, I, I tried playing the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, War Machine years mm. ago. And it just wasn't my thing. Yeah. It just wasn't really my thing. I did like that one faction. I think they're the elves. They had that sort of really uh, kind of like otherworldly sort of uh, design to them. They're like... Um, mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was the old faction that I went for initially and I had bought all those, I think they went to plastic by that, temp, that time, like some kind of like a weird plastic resiny kind of material that you bought the big uh, mech type guys with. And I had a lot of fun like painting all faces and stuff like that on their, on their shoulder pads. And yeah, the painting aspect was good because it came into the, came to the playing. It just did, it just left me completely cold and I was not interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 I think that's why I, it's been really nice going back to the older oh, Warhammers over the last couple of weeks and looking at the rules and then coming back to me and they were all quite intuitive about the way they played. They were sort of, um, you know, the game is quite simple, isn't it, really? And it's quite, it's quite that game we played, which is quite nice. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some Man of War with uh, Marcel as well. Um, I'm going to paint that Bretonian war. Oh, that's this nice. Week. How about me, Marcel? I've been asking you for bloody weeks, man. You're yeah, gonna... it, it, sorry, it's it's just too much. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Through the you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we're thinking of starting a, um, a our own fanzine and our own group as well, and things like that. You know, we live like one. <laughs> there you go. Any yeah. fanzine? <laughs> I'm going to nag you for issue two now. Uh, yeah. What's happening? Yeah, when it's coming out, right? <laughs> yeah, when's it coming out? <laughs> 200 pages. Right. Yeah. Oh, it only took a little while before we got a heckler on the on the show. That's good. Thank you, Owen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, man. that's good. We're all good. So what else have you uh, have been up to this week, then? Um, I'm... I have some. I have done some trading. Um, I traded my and Joshua will now kill me. I've traded my sixth edition dark elves. I don't need to the US, and <clears throat> I will get for this a complete unit of Kislev winged lancers and horse archers. Excellent, excellent. That's why you're looking so smug today. I see now. I understand. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll have to work at it. We'll have to work at the deal. Man, man <laughs> will never give up. <laughs> and then, um, because I I finished my uh, high elf army for the challenge, so uh, I'm yeah. I'm free at last of gemstones, or at least for now. Um, and I made a, a picture with the army box and my painted army uh, in front of it. And then a guy from Italy contacted me and said, "Hey, I want to buy a." 
the box, <laughs> the empty box from the High Elf Army deal. And I said, yeah, yeah. sure, because it's, it's, it's a cardboard box and uh, the cover is just glued on top of it. So nothing really yeah. special. And um, I made, uh, yeah, and I said, oh, okay, sure, uh, money or trade. And he said, yeah, I can give you 50 euros. And I said, ah, I prefer trading because I will spend the money for miniatures anyway. And so he send, will send me 15 uh, Marauder Dwarven Crossbowmen and Empire Handguns. So wow, 30 miniatures for uh, empty, <laughs> empty card box. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him you've got a few more at the back there, mate. <laughs> so yeah. Amazon on boxes if he's interested. <laughs> Does he know the box? <laughs> <laughs> Does he think the box is full? <laughs> no. <laughs> that that would be a really bad deal. Of no, course. Yeah. I've sold you a box of air <laughs> from the nineties. Air from the nineties. Uh, air from the nineties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he he's a he's a collector. He showed me pictures of his uh, collection. It was just shelves full of old hammer boxes, like here. Uh, bloodbath and uh, orcs drift and all these old box sets and the, all the campaign sets and everything and i mean okay if he needs that box uh, for me it will just collect dust here so yeah i think um i was thinking about that i as soon as the lockdown is over i've got to go over to my parents house because i think in the attic there i've got bloodbath and orcs drift uh the tragedy of macbeth and uh, the terror of the leech master as well so i think i've got all them so i'm going to go looking for them uh, fingers crossed and see what i can find because there's some real old stuff over there but i haven't been there for for months now because of the lockdown so uh it's quite sad but uh yeah but my, my hobby's been really quiet because i um i got a new dog as you know and um that has become more than a, more than a hobby as the dog trains me over, <laughs> over the last week you know, to do all the tricks that it wants me to do, uh, like <laughs> follow it around and pick up its mess and uh, come and see it in the middle of the night and all those things, you know. So um, uh, don't get a new dog. <laughs> Folks, don't get a dog, okay? A dog's just for Christmas. You know, that dog isn't just for Christmas. A dog is forever and uh, they own you forever. <laughs> That's it, you know. Your hobbies go out the window. Yeah. So there we go. Nice. Like Marcel's cat. I just saw it walking near the fire. I hope it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, I can smell burning cats. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, the, the problem is, um, um, yeah, how to say it? This is a fireplace. Um, before, it was a real, an open fireplace. And then later on, they put, um, yeah, uh, uh, like an oven into it with a, a glass front you can close so no smoke gets out and everything is more tidy but there's a gap between them and and in the beginning as we moved here the cats were just exploring everything and then we were searching for the cats and they were gone yeah they moved into this gap onto this oven thing and were just rummaging there around so but they well, are smart enough they will not yeah. go into it during uh, the fire burning. What I like is every week now you've got a different background. I think you, live, <laughs> you must live in a massive mansion that's got like a hundred rooms or something. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah, I want, to see, I want to see a different room every week until we run okay. out of room. Okay, yeah. or a different wall from, from every room. Yeah. yeah. How long yeah, we can you do one, from, do one from the bathroom? I want to see one in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, we have two bathrooms, so. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. This is the I only room that. I've got. I haven't got any other rooms. I sleep on the floor. <laughs> the well, rest I'm is owned. The rest of the rooms is now owned by your dog. Yeah, my dog lives in the other room, so I just live in this one. He lets me out to go for a walk once a day. <laughs> well, there we go. So that no, not much hobby for me this week. It's been quiet. I nearly finished my lizard men. Um, I've got a lizard man saurus unit I've been doing. I nearly finished those, um, which I hope to finish this week. And then my lizard man fifth edition army will be really close to being done. 
uh, which would be nice. Yeah. So I'll have to play your high elves then at some point, won't we? You know, we'll have to do that. And uh, okay. high elves with lizard men. That'll be good. We'll do a little we'll do a campaign. It'd be great. You know, around the high elf realm of Old Throne. It'd be, it'd be so great. I, I come to Wales or you come to Germany if you play this? Well, we could do both, couldn't we? We could have home games and away games, couldn't we? And that, that would be nice. Then. Yeah, we play like a round robin tournament over a couple of years, and I'll come over and you come over here. It'd be great. It'd be good. <laughs> For every turn. <laughs> every turn, yeah. We play, we play um, uh, uh, three games. We play uh, one in Germany, we play one in Wales, and if it's a decider, it has to be done in Japan. <laughs> Josh, you came there, so neutral ground would be there then for the final one. You know, it'd be good. Yeah. Where's he gone? Wrong, is he isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he is there. There he is. Are you painting? I'm painting, mate. Yeah, you keep on talking. That's rude. That's rude. Well, I'm sorry. You have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys talking about games or whatever, like, I've got to paint, mate. This is, this is the, uh, this is the okay, challenge, mate. The 40k this is what? second edition challenge. I'm painting right. my what are, you, what are you painting? Orc, my orc army for second edition. Oh, oh, the epic one. No, no, this is 40k. 40k orcs. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Britain. Bad moons. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I was talking to Paul before that uh, we really hope to play like really soon. And uh, if like if I can get these finished by the end of the month. Uh, we can actually play a, um, a thousand point game at the store um, over the holidays, which would be awesome. I don't think I'm going to get it done. When I, I need to paint them anyway for the challenge. So I've got to get, um, you know, another squad of uh, Gretchen done and another war machine and the war boss done for this month. So if I can get those done, plus the knobs, mate, I'm laughing. We can play a game then. So I'm really looking forward to it. If you walk into a games workshop store with those orcs, they're going to think you've like come in from some sort of time slip. You know? <laughs> if they ask you where you're from, just say the past. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the doctor. Would yeah, you like that's right. Yeah. The doctor, yeah. Back to the future. Yeah. Don't interact with anyone, Marty. <laughs> Eight point twenty one. Quicker what? Yeah. <laughs> they won't no, believe that they are. They won't believe that uh, um, these miniatures are uh, GW. Oh, they are no well, resin. Actually, or, or... These, miniatures, <laughs> these miniatures aren't from GW. And this is probably a good time to give um, my good friend Diego in Spain a plug at Nightmare Miniatures. Uh, these are the Gretchen that I picked up in his... Um, I'm not, oh, actually, I should... And there's another thing too. We can share photographs through the Zoom as well. So if we've got images we want to share, uh, we can share through Zoom as well as we're talking. Maybe that's a good idea for hobby projects. So Marcel can show his high off army and uh, the the very expensive box he's now sold to some in Italy that's empty. And and Owen can share his lizardman, you know, uh, fantasies <laughs> with us as well, with a giant toad on the throne and that kind of thing. And I'll show you next week my. I don't uh, have lizardman fantasies. That could just be just fantasies. that could just be really odd, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know what you're saying, but yeah, go on. You can have frog fantasy, mate, when you play. <laughs> it's all part of the, okay. all part of the thing. Okay. I've, stum I've stumbled into the wrong chat here, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he'll come to you in the middle of the night, mate. Don't worry, he'll... <gasps> <laughs> he put his big, wet, clammy <laughs> paws on <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. And trans the slammed your yeah. The orange slam. The great, slam great. These have been overlords. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Every, every week we can share images of stuff we're doing, we're painting and that kind of thing, so people can see it on the screen as we're talking. I think that's a really good idea. So yeah, next week I'll show these. Um, I'll probably have these finished. And they're a set of uh, 11 uh, Gretchen models through Nightmare Games. And uh, he's done a collaboration with Kev Adams, the great Goblin Master himself. And you can buy these now in his store. You can buy the models uh 10 of those because one of them was a kickstarter exclusive so i'm really really happy backer to back those because those models are absolutely fantastic and they fit in perfectly with any second edition or rogue trader army so yeah i'm working on that mate working on some epic uh really got my mojo back for um doing like gw stuff now i'm sort of i'm not not talking about the r word anymore 
And please, Owen, don't 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 mention it again because you mentioned it about five times last episode, and it's just been going through my head ever since, mate. I've been sick with it. So rock em. <laughs> <laughs> But I've been, the first complaints of the five people who've been watching these shows to say, look, you know, could you please stop? Drop, could you drop the rack and content? You know, I'm here for the old hammer. I'm yeah, old one of the three buns. Yeah. <laughs> one of the three complaints. Are we doing it for ourselves or what? <laughs> I, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think Marcel's family like it. <laughs> <laughs> the cats. Yeah. The cats like it. Yeah. Yeah. Two subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> you have a new subscriber yeah that's right yeah no so I'm, that's cool. yeah i i i um started painting um skaven the monopost plastic ones yes uh clan rats and uh for the warhammer quest game and also for the fancy so oh. Oh. i will not mention more well, you've just a little teaser there, a little, yeah. a little something. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's gone. And, and it's gone. Yeah. And because I'm finished now with uh, with the high elves, I will, um, yeah, can now concentrate on doing some more stuff for the fanzine, like writing stuff I've got in my head. So let's see. I've got another time for that. Really cool. How many points of high elves have you got now? Painted or unpainted? Painted. Painted. Um, yeah, the challenge were 2,000 points, and I don't know how many points for the um, magic items of um, Turion, but I painted more because um, I also painted uh, 10 more archers and 10 more spearmen, the monopost plastic ones. Mm -hmm. um, I can't tell you how many points that are. And I painted also extra um the guy on the griffin nice yeah. that is nice that's good and the last miniature i really wanted to paint but not now um for the high elves is uh, imrik on the dragon wow you've got that of you yeah excellent oh that's good yeah and josh what about your dwarves what's happening with them uh not much <laughs> they're just sitting in the shelf mate i haven't done really much with them uh to be honest and um and i think looking at it i don't think i'll be doing any anything additional for them for quite a while um just because i've got so many other things on at the moment i've got i've got a lot of epic stuff to do for the fanzine now and basically yeah my hobby is sort of dictated by what's happening in the fanzine so um yeah, that's that's the most important thing. So we can do the battle reports. We can get you know things like the Skaven thing we're doing next step for the next issue. So I need to paint up some Skaven uh, as part of like a little fun uh, group challenge we have got with the members there. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what's what's on my my plate at the moment, and um, and just finishing off some stuff for uh, a good friend of mine. Jesse in New Zealand. He's got a Slanesh army that I'm sort of doing. He's got his Beastman army <clears throat> that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, and just give me just two seconds because I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm just I'm just going to share the screen in a second so we can see Marcel's high off army. Owen, if you haven't seen it or people out there haven't seen it yet, I'm just going to um, just have a quick look here. I lost count of the gemstones. So sorry. I don't know <laughs> yeah, how yeah, many gemstones. Nightmare. <laughs> well, I thought it would be in here. Why can't I see it? Okay. He's embarrassed himself here, Marcel. He was telling everyone you can share screens. Uh, you know, <laughs> all that. I, I don't judge. I don't judge. No. <laughs> yeah. And I, I wanted to paint some more menu warships, maybe in between, because, uh, yeah, they are really easy to paint because we've got only. Uh, a couple of miniatures to paint. Oh, something is happening. Okay, so I've got, I've got these are my orcs that I did for the, this is a part of the orcs I did for the challenge. These are the Rogue Trader plastic, drastic plastics. Um, still a classic uh, miniature, like the very first plastics they ever made, I think, for 40k. Those and the that, beast. They are going back a while, aren't they? They are going yeah, back yeah. a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, Look at those Mohicans. <laughs> yeah, they're cool, aren't they? I really like those Mohicans. I like the fact, can someone explain to me why orcs are either bald or have a Mohican? There's no other answer. Yeah. They're, they're, um, <laughs> Nathan, Nathan Stone uh, explained it in one of his uh, postcard, uh, podcast episodes. Uh, uh, he talked uh, a complete episode only about squeaks and uh, orcs are bold and these are just squeaks on their head. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, I can see it. They are nice, Josh, they look really nice. Yeah, I'm happy with those. They come in really quickly too. I can paint them really, really quickly, so it was good. Why can't I, okay. Uh, and did you build those, <clears throat> did you have those, did you build those up yourself? Did you have, um, uh, or did you um, buy them sort of ready built? No, I, I bought them from a guy in Australia on, on the sprue. Um, because wow. I was after some I was after some arms and that kind of thing. So look, I had all these right. stuff like those. And I said, yeah, that's cool. So he sent me some arms and that sort of stuff. This is my infinity. Um, this is probably one of my most favorite infinity models. Uh, yeah. Them. yeah. And that's that's are they are they coated in sugar or what's that? Yeah, mate, this is really shit um uh, snow modeling effect. So don't ever use this stuff. This is like this is actually like um grounded glass. And a resin compound they sold. I think it was secret weapon. This stuff is. It's awful. Uh, I don't use this stuff anymore. But yeah, it's it's <laughs> it wasn't the best. But yeah, it sort of gave a gave a I, interest. I like that. I think that looks good. I like that effect. It's different, it's isn't it? Better than the um the old the old cheap alternative, which was like baking soda or something like that, which mm. turns yellow after a while, which does not work at all. Yeah. So mm. luckily they've got some much better uh, effects, like through Vallejo, you can get some really good um snow effects now just trying to think what i use now oh yeah that's right tamiya i use a tamiya product for my um for my snow effects which is a lot a lot better mm. yeah anyhow but anyhow i can't find your i can't find your bloody elves oh, um uh marcel i can't find them that's really strange they are gone <clears throat> they're gone in the warp right they've been trapped in their own gemstones maybe they've been sucked yeah, in I, I i put them under your uh, call out for here uh, march for the challenge so don't ask me okay let me just go back it must be in here because uh, i want to find before our time runs out we've got about six minutes or something like that okay did you put it in here did you put it in this um in the march march uh... Okay, here. Yeah, it's good, good chances to check out all the entries too for this month and the Call of the Crown as well at the same time. We should do that as well. Why don't we think of that? That's a really good idea. We could actually, you know, broadcast all the uh, people's entries. That is a great idea. Uh, oh, yeah, there's Yep. Oh, Skaven. Yeah, some Look nice Skaven too, but this is Yep's um, awesome looking goblin. They're just brilliant. I love this banner he's done. It's just awesome. But that's a guy from uh, Grom. That's uh, Grom's guy, right? Yeah, that's Niblet. Garstick and Nobler. Yeah, it's Garstick and Nobler. But that's Niblet from Grom's chair. Yeah. yeah. I really like too. That's quite cool. Look at the, uh, I like the green ton on the, on Gobbler there, there, on the squig. Yeah, yeah, it looks uh, cool. Uh, yeah, very. That looks uh, the exact sort of, um, oh, here we go. We're coming. Here we are. Here we are, Marcel. We found it. Yeah. Oh, this box is now sold. <laughs> That's a box. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's an absolutely gorgeous army, that is. Oh, thanks. Well done, Marcel. That's great. Yeah. That is. That looks really yeah. nice. Yeah. Seven months. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. But you finished quite quickly in the end, though, didn't you? You were um, knee deep in high elves uh, last time we spoke, but you've done these quite quickly towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. I, is that all, all the stuff? That's the whole box, is it? Everything there? Yeah, everything on the box there is standing now in front of me. Wow. That's really nice. I really like that. Yeah. And for the uh, Dragon Princess, I uh, choose another, uh, another, another colors uh, or, because um, the classic one is green and red. And uh, also very cool, but it. Uh, it matched not so good with the rest of my army that I made classic white and, and sky blue. And so I made them just dark blue because um, for me, they got their armor like 
dragons and you've got dragons in different colors. And so I just choose the darker blue. Yeah. Uh, that, that's lovely. Have you thought of any background for them or any character names um, or where the army's from or anything like that? Yeah, I, I wrote at the beginning of the challenge, I wrote a little short story with mm -hmm. uh, what our, their mission is and what they are doing and everything. Yeah. And um, a little uh, tip for the banners, um, because in the army book, you can fr find the black and white banners to copy. Mm -hmm. And I uh, did that and then I just painted them. And so it's not completely freehand, but they are so much better than just the paper banners you could bought and they look so much better, I, I think. The only pain with all the cavalry for high elves, they all got pennants and there aren't any pennants for high elves. <laughs> you have to oh. copy the pennants for the wood elf general to, to get some reference and then design your own. <laughs> Not so, that was really bad. Yeah, that's the worst character ever because it's so hard to paint, Tyrion. <laughs> oh, you can be proud of these. These are really nice. Really Even nice. his horse is covered in gemstones. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a really small horse and he was huge on it. Yeah. I think there's a bit of like cruelty going on here. The massive <laughs> guy on the tiny horse. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Matthias's wonderful looking um, Carl Franz on yeah, Death. Look. That's pretty cool, eh? Massive back banner. I love that banner. I love the banner. Look at that. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Mm. You know, well, eh? I, I think that Griffin, Griffin looks really angry. Yeah. Yeah. Mess with the Griffin. Yeah. Look at that banner. That's a freehand banner. That is. He's, he's drawn mm. that. That's big. Yep. Yep. Very good. Isn't it? Very well done. Yeah. Yeah. He showed oh, me a sneak peek of his Blazing Sun cavalry he's working on now, which looked really nice mm. too. Yeah, it's coming along really well. So, yeah, good on you, Mateus. Nice work. So we've got about uh, just under two minutes now. We're going to just pick out a few more people here from the challenge. That um, who was some Skaven here? Look pretty cool too from Andreas. That really nice color scheme. I like that sort of teal color. Oh, well, the old pretty... storm vermin. Yeah, yeah, that's like an old third edition. Uh, yeah, third edition one. The this is a third edition. That's a fourth edition one. Very nice. Yeah, that teal color is really unusual, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, it's so I like the plain green painted base as well. That's nice, that is. Yeah, the old goblin green. Painted base on Apple Music. Uh, hello. <laughs> and this is out. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? I don't know where that's coming from, but that's Angel. By, by uh, Alexa. Just said, I can't find the song Green Painted Bass on Amazon Music. <laughs> Is that what I okay. said? Yeah. Okay. So you have to wrote one, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. So just in closing, this is Angel's wonderfully painted sleigh that he donated for the challenge. So some lucky winner at the end of the oh, challenge wow. is on the floor to win this one. And you mean Ben's? That looks brilliant. Look at the colors in the hair and the beard. He's done a lot of work in that, hasn't he? he that looks superb. Yeah, he does really good work. And hey, the gems. Wrap it up there because yeah. it's less than one minute, so I don't want it to, to cut out before we say goodbye. So mm -hmm. um, thank you very much for joining us, guys, Marcel and Owen. And yeah, uh, no problem. We're going we're gonna to go off and uh, play some advanced hero quest. So Woo! That's, that's right. Back there, to the dungeon. <laughs> well, there's beastmen dung to smell and. Oh, just for me, some more animals.